You know, I think I have the most um, success, and what I feel my success is, is when I come into the studio and I'm able to stay in the studio all day without leaving, whether it's eight hours or 10 hours, 12 hours, and just work with my music uh, on. I love listening to uh, avant-garde music and things like that. So what happens is, is I'll just go into a piece and it's almost like I'm not really thinking about what I'm doing. I'm just uh, going with the flow of, uh, of what I feel. Uh, of what I you know what I want to do and whatever colors are available that day and then some sometimes I work with two or three colors and sometimes I'll try to work with every color that I have but mostly uh, maybe over the last year or so I've been trying to you know edit the amount of colors I use but uh, it it always comes to me as far as uh, it's almost like um, it just happens, like you say, organically, it just happens. And those are the ones I have the most success with. Uh, when I sketch a piece out or draw something out, I really, in the end, I really end up changing it. You're supposed to be seeing a lot of uh, vivid color. Uh, you're, you're, you're seeing something that is, uh, what I like to say is uh, creating beauty. Uh, the title of the piece is, uh, in the crepuscule with Nelly, and I relate a lot of my work to jazz, and that's that's a monk tune, and uh, just from the colors and, and things like that. So uh, mainly, it's, it's probably for me to give you maybe a, a cue with the title, and then you can you know go from there with what you feel about it. Okay, I'm married to Marion Hayden bassist and uh, I always tell people you know when they mention other bass players I always say well you know I say you know who I'm married to you know, she's the best best on the planet uh, the oldest son now is working on his masters and he's also uh, working f with uh, CCS as a community coordinator I believe and he's working with the DIA as a uh, you know, community outreach and uh, he's also working on his masters at uh, Wayne State and uh, he's working on his master's in drawing. The youngest one is, uh, matter of fact, he'll be 20 in a week, uh, May 7th. Uh, his name is Tariq, he, uh, he's a drummer. And he's, uh, you know, his uh, majors in music, he, he's majoring in music at uh, U of M. So we stay, you know, we stay pretty busy. This is an old fire station uh, built in 1902. And I believe it is, is uh, historical. I bought a few years ago, uh, actually in uh, 2008. And uh, we had maybe looked at it several years before that and, and someone, someone uh, owned it. And I think they were a ceramicist. And uh, so I, at that point, I guess it became uh, vacant or, and they wanted to sell it. So I bought it in uh, 2008. And so since then, I've been dividing my time between, uh, you know, painting and you know, doing my artwork and working on the building and trying to keep it, uh, you know, keep it uh, livable. We went to this place on Gory Island called the Door of No Return which is a, which was an old slave castle where they managed to uh, bring slaves to for transport. And so they called it the door of no return because once you left that door, you either went to one of the Americas, or you either went to South America, Central America, or North America. Before that, you know, like I said, before my trip to Senegal, I had been, you know, using doors as far as some of the uh, icons in my work. This, this piece is, is a, um, more of a reoccurring piece. It's, it's, it's almost like, it's not like a, a nightmare or anything, but it's just something that just fascinates me as far as uh, where my creativity is now. And I often wonder that if I were still 
in Africa or somewhere in Africa where if, you know, this thing hadn't happened, where would I be with, you know, with my creativity? I kind of sell works kind of sporadically. It kind of comes and goes. I don't have a specific uh, person that's out there just pushing to sell my work. Um, I'm probably like the main one. And, and, you know, as an artist, I try to be here in the studio and work. And usually what happens, I think, good things happens happen if I'm here working. And uh, I think that it's, it's not easy to make, to make the work. I don't think it's easy. I don't think it's easy for anybody anywhere. Uh, art isn't being supported, you know, as we all know, uh, by the state or by the government. Uh, I believe in New York they had like that 1% for art. So if a building was being constructed, 1% of that however much the building costs, went to buy art for the building. So we don't have that here in Michigan to, for something just to like supplement, you know, artists that are making art.